a pedo, a <laughs> racist, a transphobe, a CIA agent, an American exceptionalist, and a fake leftist walk into a bar. The bartender asks, hey, Vosh, the usual. This, a, first of all, a classic, but I have criticisms. Uh, there's so much loaded onto this one. No, this is from an actual hater. This person actually hates me. Uh, so much loaded onto this one, okay? You, 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 we could, it's a little busy. We can pull it back a bit, right? I mean, a, a pedo, racist, transphobe, CAG, American exceptionalist, fake leftist, person who made jokes about the Korean War, uh, uh, six foot two, uh, uh, white man, yeah. Uh, you know, we can roll it back a little bit. We don't have to describe every single one of my alleged traits. What are the odds they're a former fan? Well, their flag says they're trans, so maybe they're a current fan. They just hate watch me. Who knows? I feel like the hardest guys have a big soft side. What? This isn't a meme. From what if alt history? I feel like all the hardest guys have a big soft side. The savage warlord who has raped and killed thousands probably spoils his kids, loves baby seals, and is a gentleman to his wife. It's the duality of man. Yeah, that's, that's something you hear a lot when you read up on history. Big historical figures that were involved in a lot of slaughter and war were famously good interpersonal. This is a kink thing, right? Is this guy gay, actually? I think this is a kink thing, okay? This is like, um, oh, I wish I could be wined and dined. By, uh, by Adolf Hitler after he just did the Holocaust. I don't support this kink. I don't believe in it. I don't endorse it. I don't think it's right. I think, I, think it's, I'll, I think it's degenerate. I do. I do. Minus the weird rape comment. Didn't you make a similar comment about men's assholes during your alien playthrough? M my point was that no matter how the guy acts, their assholes are all similarly soft and warm on the inside. But that's He's talking about their personality. I was talking about their actual butthole. <laughs> that's the duality that I was referring to, okay? That's that's a totally different, totally different thing. Vosh, that's just biology? Yeah, no, I, I'm, not, I'm not disagreeing. Holy shit. Is that my mother dad? <laughs> Didn't you lose the bait the vosh? Dude, my dad's such a flamer. He's on, tw he's on Twitter battling. Like, like, all the time. Oh my god. Very nice to see how you will be advocating for your son, even though you must hear the ungodly amount of things about horses because of a stream. <laughs> I know him. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> yeah. These people, they, they, they're, they're like, ah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ruin Vosh's life. I'm gonna tell his father what goes on in his streams. Who do you, you think he doesn't see my streams? <laughs> I got supportive family, man. They know what shit I'm up to. You know, all about these stupid ass jokes. I was talking to my family earlier because today is my birthday. Just earlier, I was talking. They were like, we might tune into your stream later. That asshole comment. My, my dad might have listened to it. I don't know. He might be here right now. Who knows? Hypothetical map of a decolonized USA, indigenous people, cracker containment zone. I do not put me in Florida, okay? No, 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 okay? I'll be as indigenous as I need to be to get to not live in Florida, all right? Whatever you need, I don't know if we're talking blood quantum or if I need to do a dance or something or if I need to like know how to gamble or uh, what do I need to do, okay? Am I indigenous enough? Move me over. Oh, so yeah, suddenly I'm 164th Cherokee princess, okay? I'm gonna Elizabeth Warren my way back over to the West Coast like I like I want to live, okay? You tell me I'm not indigenous. I, I was alcohol intolerant for years, okay? There's got to be something in there for me. What about black people? Yeah, it, is the meme here implying that black people in America are indigenous? Because they're not. That's not true. That's not true. They're not indigenous. So... <laughs> Where are they going? Mexico? <laughs> Mr. Beast is good because he does charity. Mr. Beast is bad because it's performative charity. Mr. Beast is good because he shows a social problem. Mr. Beast is bad because he doesn't actually fix the problem. Mr. Beast is bad because he's cringe. I have still never watched a Mr. Beast video, so I actually have no idea if he's cringe. His thumbnails make him look cringe. Uh, I assume because he's a popular YouTuber, he's cringe. But I like Markiplier, so, you know, I, I actually have no idea. I have no clue.
Hey, Zan, thank you. Is content for kids? There's nothing inherently wrong with making content that's aimed at a younger audience. But man, there's definitely a wrong and a right way to do it, huh? As of noon today. Two, two dozen plus good Samaritans have filed reports with the FBI. Detail. Just possession of CP and his dangers to children. Ah, they got me. Average day. That's all this person does, actually. Two dozen plus good Samaritans. Are you... Uh, 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 are you not a real leftist, or do you spend all day, every day, paying, uh, uh, black market criminals to forge new identities for you, so you have new accounts from which you can report Vosh.gg to the feds? You gotta know, you gotta know the FBI has to, like, throw this in a gigantic pile, right? For pretty much every streamer. Like, real talk, real question. How many FBI reports do you think, like, PewDiePie has? Like, really think for a second. Just numbers-wise. Like, it's got to be literally tens, hundreds, maybe, of thousands. Like, unironically. Just any amount. Uh, also, this person literally has a lolly VTuber avatar. Uh, so, you know. Uh, he, he who doth protest. Ah, attorney friend. We all know this account. She went ahead is literally 31 years old. How does she not hit the wall? She literally looks like a teenager. She's also really cute for a liberal. This is the uh, average Nazi uh, when it when it comes to uh, pedophilia, you know, staring at a staring at a picture of a young woman and going, hmm, interesting. She's not underage, but she's still attractive, possibly because she looks underage. Hmm. Gonna have to do some more research on this one. Teenager really cute. Well, Friend, this is more of like a Groiper, uh, Nick Fuentes thing, right? So they might be 12, you know? Who knows? Men are hateful, porn sick, degenerate barbarians who commit 98% of all violent crimes. They don't deserve to be coddled or kissed on the head or whatever this vile garbage expects of women. They are not lost puppies. And then the banger, so true, actual lesbians just ignore men. They're too busy sharing clothes and squishing their boobies together and show on and show on. The loudest, angriest, most vitriolic man-haters are bitterly heterosexual women. Completely true, by the way. Also, this went on to get like a thousand quote tweets. Um, literally, like objectively correct. Um, so good. It's better with the accent. Yeah, well, I, th I I meant to imply the accent with the and so on and so on, but you know. I did a contra tweet, but I didn't delete it. That's why I'm better than her. Uh, completely correct. Then I got like a thousand quote tweets of people telling me to kill myself. Due to recent horse-related controversies, Ian Lachinsky is officially retired. Neurodivergent media personality Daniil Denkovsky will replace him as host of the Vosh stream. <gasps> Hello! Ooh. Look at this little... Look at this little guy. Oh my goodness. I love him so much. New streamer. Yeah. I, uh, I think he should be... An anarcho-primitivist. I think he should be. Oh, and you'll you'll all be happy to hear, by the way, that he has been playing so much with Artemy. They're both zooming around. Uh, you know, Artemy's like not going as hard as he could, which is necessary because Daniil is one tenth his size. Um, but like Artemy was sitting, or the thing where their front paws are like outstretched, but they're back, they're sitting on their butt, and Daniil ran up to him and like flopped onto his back to like claw up at Artemy and Artemy was like bapping down and they were just having an absolute blast then oh then then uh then Artemy gave Daniil an absolute thump right against the carpet right against his head you know <laughs> it's fine it's you know it was all within the purview of good sport but just an absolute weapon fantastic Vosh is left-wing Andrew Tate. God damn, there really is no money in the left. I wish. I wish I was making those bucks. Also, you know, this could be interpreted positively. But it is an anime. It is an anime avatar. So probably not. Top V! Top V! Start a multi-level marketing scheme. Yeah, it's an option. Always a good fallback. <laughs> this generation is the first to use bread too. How often do we hear the term bread tube anymore? I feel like the term's kind of dead. Contra doesn't even post anymore. Contra taught me to be a true scum. Vouch taught me to be tactical with my bigotry. Hasanabi told me to buy a big house. Thought Slime taught me not to say lunacy. Destiny taught me incest is okay. Professor Flowers taught me which genocides are good. Xan taught me how to run a sex cult. 
Luna Oi taught me LGBT rights protests or CIA. Bad Empanada taught me to dox kids I disagree with. And H-Bomb taught me to play Dark Souls. Apparently, Bad Empanada recently DM'd that, um, that, that trans pink-haired fighter, the, like, MMA lady, and told her to kill herself or something because she was a vet. Um, so he's been having a, a good old time lately. Normalized straight men having gay sex. Normalized letting women watch a straight man having gay sex with a straight man. Caution, density. It wouldn't work. Uh, 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 we're both bottoms. Could never happen. Um, a lot of gay guys have this, like, have sex with a straight man kink, and I really feel bad for them because that cannot be a sustainable interest, you know? Uh, that is... <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes, absolutely. That's got to be a rough one to fulfill. Don't know in French, I see you. Uh oh. Getting French donos today. From Des Tiny. Cold take most cops are probably good cops. If they weren't, you'd see stories like this multiple times per day. Very high IQ tweet. From my dad. Oh, uh, we do. My, he's, I'm, I'm gonna, like, wake up one day to a bunch of texts and DMs because it'll be like, dude, dude, your dad's on Destiny's stream. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. I need him to follow me back. Zan, just keep begging. It'll happen eventually. I'm, my, my dad is, a, is a, a, an unmoored ship, okay? He, he's following the tides. Your dad's doing your job better than you. Uh, much as, much as Destiny would like it to be, my job isn't actually interacting with him. <laughs> Though he would probably pay me to do that if, uh, I gave up on the whole live streaming thing. Just let me talk about horror. We saw this. We reacted to this on stream. Critical. Aw, oh, thank you, you dot. <laughs> <laughs> From our jailbait to our jailbait mod. Can you guys stop trying to get me in trouble? What the fuck is wrong with you people? Jesus Christ. Oh my god. You guys, remember, you can't thirst after this. I am literally 15 here. Alright? You can't. You're not allowed. Um. Oh my god. I, I'm almost double the age I was there. Wow. People love cats next to them in YouTube videos or streams uh, and don't pet them constantly or sociopaths. You must be talking about Vosh. He abuses his while he streams. True! Why all of the uh, Destiny tweets? Is it because he got unbanned in the Great Musk unbanning? It must be that. Also, I dedicate an inordinate amount of time to playing with my goddamn cats, okay? We spend so much time bobbling about the cats. Oh no! 538 presidential polls. Standard 16. Thank you, Galley. Have a good one. Sanders 11, Sanders 11, Sanders 7, no! Bernie! Not again! Bernie, please! He can win! He can still win! Here's my plan. Literally, that Stone Toss comic. That meme. Well, here's a plan on how he can still win, and like the banner falls, and you see the 2024 slip behind it. How do we ensure the lichdom of Bernie Sanders? Oh, he wouldn't go for that. He's Jewish. Every left Twitter poster with no job loves to complain about streamers because we're just as fucking pathetic as they are, except we get paid and no one's listening on the second tweet going back to your link tree after the hit tweet or listening to your podcast. True! Everyone looks at the left like we're a bunch of fucking insane hysterical losers, so I'm really glad we have a brief window in 2020 where not everyone on Twitch thought that and it felt like there was a culture shift in the platform. Fighting against that every day feels harder. Whoa, hold on. All right, hold on. Hold your goddamn horses here. Keffels and I take flack from performative lefties way the f more than Hassan does. Hassan's, uh, we're on way more shit list than Hassan. In this specific instance, even, with the Hogwarts legacy thing, which is the most mad I've seen people at him in a while, People are still more going after Keffels. <laughs> Hassan's been calling his fan base mentally ill schizos recently. Well, the problem is, is that Hassan, like, cares about politics secondarily, okay? Hassan's main thing is that he wants to be famous, which he already is. Uh, Hassan wants to be, uh, Hassan wants to be a perfect celebrity e-boy, which I don't fault him for. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be a perfect celebrity e-boy. I don't mind the sort of uh, vapidness or... or Vapidity? No, no vapidness uh, to it. it it's, a, it's a respectable path. No worse than mine, certainly. Uh, the problem is, is that uh, d doing any kind of left politics is, is a, a constant minefield tripwalk where 
no matter how neutral or banal or obviously correct you are, uh, you will still find ways to anger people. Oftentimes, people will be mad at you just because you're popular. How are you going to say that? Uh, you don't hate it, then he say he's vapid. Wanting to be a perfect celebrity e-boy is a vapid goal. I am a live streamer. What position do you think I'm in? He's totally right here, though. Do you guys remember back in 2020 where it did kind of feel like there was going to be a big positive shift for the online left towards, um, towards like, I guess, pragmatism or political effectiveness? And th since then, things have just rolled right back to where they were. Great. Love it. Hey, maybe we'll get another shot in 2024. Huh? Huh? Maybe we'll briefly get to rally people. Huh? Every Vox stream be like the most intense grooming session. Ah, yes. Beautiful. Iron, you're... Um, actually, I think it is ironed. It has folds, but it doesn't have all the folds, right? It doesn't have the folds this way. So it got ironed and then refolded? Either way, that is a huge flag. After some reflection, I've decided what my audience really wants slash needs more of my media takes. I'm making a Google Doc where I note any media I've recently consumed. We'll have some brief thoughts and it will post soon. I still have to post this. I have to. Um... I, I need to work in it a little more before it's, like, ready. Before it has enough stuff. <laughs> Describe Marjorie Taylor Greene in one word. Begins with the C and ends with a T. Dad. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, not, uh... Not difficult to know where I came from, I guess. Why can't you be as cool as your dad? Yeah, sorry. I try to. I'm sure he's very disappointed as well. He's like, yeah, the N-word. Only tactically, not like strategically. What about casually? Come on. Hogwarts Legacy introduces Serona Ryan, the Harry Potter series for Strat's character. Devs, I'm playing both sides, so I always come out on top. Excellent, yes. Really, truly was a decision crafted to make nobody happy. Nobody, you know? Uh, nobody was happy with this. It's so funny. Doesn't the game take place in, like, the 19th century, too? So it was, like, a trans person long before trans people would have been even remotely socially acknowledged in England? The 1890s? Gotcha. That is so funny. Sam, no! Ref reviewing Vosh's debate with the... N Wait, what did this say? I guess they could say a million things. Say no. Man, I I feel like um don't we Nosbol Queen? Gotcha. I feel like by now we should have algorithms that won't cut off if possible, will not cut off a sentence like this, you know? Like it's you should not like sentences should just not be able to be ended on N or N I or N I D or anything like that. Like it should have cut the N off too and just said reviewing Vosh's debate with the. I actually don't think it'd be difficult to implement that. Chat GPT would never allow this to happen. True. Maybe we do need AI. Just be like silly. No, the ace discourse. Asexual GF wants me to wear chastity cage. Okay, now asexual GF wants me to wear panties. I'm starting to think she's not asexual. No, wrong. Okay. You can you can, I've learned this, you can be asexual and also be a sex fiend and be very horny, okay? They're not mutually exclusive. And your girlfriend's not an anime girl. Presumably. Serial pisser. Police in Denton are searching for a man who's been going around opening vehicles and urinating inside of them. How the f*** did he open? Just like, they leave their car unlocked? And he just runs up and opens them? <laughs> and pees in them? Watch your stuff by Denton recently? This has more likes than the original fucking Dallas, Texas TV tweet. First of all, okay, I have a better hairline, for one. Uh, second of all, seriously, how is he getting in these cars? A Denton car pisser? True. The seemingly supernatural ability to find unlocked cars to open and piss in. Very true. No copy pasta. <laughs> the actual lesbian's tweet. I can't believe how mad this made people, man. I got so many death threats over this. People fantasizing about killing me and my fa- Just the whole nine yards. Incredible. For an objectively correct statement. A lot of them were TERFs. All of them were heterosexual. Did, does Destiny not have his own meme subreddit? Are we getting overflow? 
Appropriated does not mean influenced or derived from. No early blues was not influenced by or derived from. It was 99% copied from European classical music. What? That has to be wrong. I don't know anything about music, but that has to be wrong. Doesn't he, doesn't he literally know music? Is this one of those things where he'll say something retarded, but then later he'll be like, ah, but what I actually mean is, and then he'll say something that's different, but so kind of related, and that take will be correct. And then his audience will go, ha, people were baited by the wrong thing you said. Is that, is that where this came from? Tro yeah, I was pretending to be, yeah, okay. Adam Neely quote tweeted and owned him on this. Well, it's not like I know anything about music. Seems like an attention grab. This is what my university music theory was made for. This is my moment. Time to do a racism. Wasn't there... I feel like I remember him talking about, like, musical theory with Adam... Not Adam. Uh, Stryker? The, the Nazi? Stryker? Because Stryker was like, ah, yes, the highly sophisticated classical music was too big brain and high IQ for the degenerated skulls of the African. That's why the African likes rap music, which is like crashing a cymbal against a garbage can or something. I don't know, whatever, like, Nazi musical composition theory is or something. <laughs> whatever the... And Destiny schooled him on that, but, yeah, who knows. Me waiting for this Hogwarts Legacy discourse to end so I can go back to enjoying Reddit. Imagine enjoying Reddit. I used to enjoy Reddit. Didn't you do a bachelor's thesis on African-American music? Uh, no, you're, you're, you're misremembering. I spent my bachelor degree time uh, having sex with uh, black women uh, who would make fun of me for listening to video game OSTs. Uh, it's close. There's similarities, uh, you know, there's, there's parallels, but not, not exactly the same thing. Two types of Sylvanian males. True. I feel like it, it, it seems like a, a, like a universal law that the areas of most homophobia will produce the most femboys. Um, 4chan for one, they're both communists. Yeah. All Slovenian males are communists. Don't don't look at Slovenia or any of its demographics or anything about its politics and just keep believing that. Found that old pic of Vosh making a speech about how he's tankies and woke school. <laughs> Vosh giving a speech to his youth fan at the Berlin Luxgarten about how tankies and woke schools are evil and announcing his plan to legalize child porn. Hitler would. Hitler would do that. Low effort post. Yeah, the John Cena skirt discourse looks great, by the way, unironically. Vosh versus Jordan Peterson, epic rap battle of history. Epic rap battles of history! Vosh versus Jesse Lee! Oh, fuck. Jordan Lee Peterson! Be good! <coughs> who brought this sociology major to battle a professor? Another soy boy cock who calls everyone oppressor. Question the age of consent. <laughs> It'll bring about your doom. You're more whack than a man in the women's bathroom. You're destiny's bitch. I bet mean, you two like to kiss. <laughs> Sorry, not beautiful. Up yours, woke moralist. Uh, who made this? Uh, welcome to Coconut Island. Your alt-right rhetoric has inspired real-world violence. You sound like Kermit the Frog put on fucking white face. Doesn't Andrew Tate bang your daughter? Cringe, not base. That's but actually true. And your career's going under. So just fuck off before I show you Alden's number. Who <laughs> won? That's the stupidest. Bottles of history. This is okay. This is why. This is why AI art is bullshit, okay? You know why? Because this person could have just gotten the AI voice comps of both myself and JBP, but it was made better with their own shitty impressions. <laughs> yeah, you can never replicate the heart. You can never take that away. Fantastic. Real talk, real, real politics right now, okay? The witch system killed more, or like the witch system led to how many deaths thing, it's always been a stupid pissing contest, no matter what side of the coin you're on. Um, if you're a capitalist saying this about communists, if you're a communist saying this about capitalists, if you're anyone saying about not, it's really, 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 really dumb. Um, people are going to die under any system. The question is like, which, like, if there were unnecessary deaths, if there were deaths that absolutely could have been prevented, you know, like what led to that? And it's really difficult to know, right? Because even like back in the 1400s, you could have tried like the 15th century equivalent of like socialism, but that wouldn't have stopped everyone from dying at birth because you have shitty medicine and no germ theory, right? Um, there's so much stuff. It's really difficult to say. Because likewise, like 
in terms of life expectancy, things have gone up everywhere under capitalism, but it's not really under capitalism, right? It's under industrialization and under like the 20th century boom in medical cleanliness and a bunch of stuff like that, vaccines and everything. So it's not like, it's, it's so difficult to say. It's, it's just a dumb pissing contest. Ring, ring. Hello? <laughs> oh, is this the cringe department? No, I've seen no, this. this. is the base department. No, I think it is the cringe department. B boot. What was that? And I hung up. No, uh, I can <laughs> still hear it. I can still hear all the cringe. That is not true. Well, for example, I am the Chad Doge, and you, you are the little tiny Doge. Uh huh. He's called Cheems, you dumb dumb. Well, <laughs> you seem to know a lot about him, don't you? Will you shut up, man? Do you know what Sigma Grind set is? It's like Patrick Bateman, great guy. You know, I watched this movie, American Psycho. Yeah. Great movie. I really related to the main character. I do think uh -huh. that he might be, he might be literally me. Oh, yeah? Well, have you seen Drive, Blade Runner, or Taxi Driver? I am all of those characters. You can't be all of those characters. Yes, I can. No. uh <laughs> Straw man? That's not a straw man. Do you even know the definition? Appeal to authority? You're literally the president. Ad hominem? <laughs> I agree. Ring, ring. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> the, the... The most insane thing is that this is actually objectively more civil and more productive than their actual debates were back in 2020. I can't, I'm not joking when I say that in terms of like, I, this is actually more. <laughs> this is actually better than that. God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Boy, you're right. Yeah. Guys, I am so ready for the Donald Trump Ron DeSantis uh, primary debates. What well, with Donald Trump calling DeSantis a f groomer? <laughs> the whole oh god, I can't wait. Oh my god, it's a good picture. Uh, Greta getting arrested. It's a good picture. She's got that practiced. Look at that. Jeez, look at that. Stone cold. Stone cold. Top G. When did this happen? She was arrested in those uh, the German protests, the coal mine. She looks good. Respect it. I dislike Vosh so strongly that I wish half the things people said about him were actually true just so I could justify my disdain. Is this real? You... Yes? Does this tell you anything about your thought process, maybe? A little? Are we reflecting? Jesus Christ. Literally least deranged Vosh hater. Hey, look, if you guys ever just want a reminder on how deranged people get about me, man, just go back to that. Go back to that lesbians tweet. How many quote tweets are we on? 1,133. This was viewed 1.3 million times. Okay, you are, which is browse through. Jesus Christ. Remember Cat Black 10K words? Yeah, the, the 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 gigantic fucking manifesto that she wrote on me that I didn't even read. Oh man. Unbelievable. It's your fault. Everyone now knows uh lesbian smooch boobless. Yeah, they understand. Uh they don't want to appeal to the male gaze, even in the abstract, if no men are around. So when uh, lesbians kiss, they actually both like lean forward to smooch. Uh, and their boobies just kind of, like, don't touch. Crazy. Crazy the world we live in. You haven't heard of the boob blocker? It just put, like, a little iron sheet between the two of them. Conservative activists want to remove uh, Seattle's Lenin statue, but it's on private property. Ha! It's true, I've been here. This is on, uh, this is in, uh, Fremont. In, uh, Seattle. It's a pretty good statue, too. There's a Lenin statue? Yeah! Didn't I tweet a picture of me with, with it? This is how big it is. It's got a pretty interesting history. It was brought all the way from like some post-Soviet country to the United States. Cost quite a lot to move it. Should have been Marx. Yeah, well, you know, still funny. Why are you booping his finger? I don't know. It's like kind of hanging down. SMH Lennon was not that big. 
Yeah, well, I want to meet a guy. You know how there are those hoteps who will say that, like, back in the old days, people in Africa were all 20 feet tall because they misinterpret some old Greek, like, hieroglyphic or whatever? Need the guy who thinks that Marx and Lenin and shit were actually all giants because the statues left over from the collapse of the Soviet Union uh, depict them that large? They're, they're like, oh, yeah, well, a hundred years ago, like, before capitalism, obviously, people were taller. I may not show up, but the haha -ha bottom jokes really feel like just another layer of toxic masculinity and making it more difficult for me to be vulnerable without fear of ridicule. Okay, let's be, okay, we'll be real for a second. Actually, how real are we being in the comments? Should I, do I need to be real when they're not being real? Yeah, they're being pretty real. Okay, I'll tell you why. You know why? You fucking deserve it. Stop being annoying on Twitter. No, I'm not joking, okay? Stop. You have to understand. Tops can't make jokes about being tops. There's nothing funny or endearing about tops being like, like a guy just gets on Twitter and he's like, oh, I'm so horny. I want to fuck some pussy. Everyone would make fun of that. Okay. Deservedly so. But bottoms get to talk nonstop all the time. They make jokes about how they want to be ravaged and horny and blah, blah, blah. And okay. You have to understand that part of this is just like the natural consequence of you being so fucking loud with your uh, 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 bottom slash top disposition, like it's going to invite more blow black, blow, blow black, blow back. That being, that being said, okay, I will be clear. That being said, a lot of the anti-bottom stuff is probably just homophobia. That is true. That's probably true. Um, that's probably true. A lot of it probably is, yeah. Probably, yeah. I don't think that's where it comes from, from me, because I I don't actually, like, make fun of people who are femme gay or bottoms for, like, on their own. It's usually if they're doing the, like, being annoying bottom joke stuff. Or that fucking emoji. What's the one emoji with the bottom face? You know? That, or, like, that one. You know, like, and it, like, that, like, there's a lot of that crap. Um... I, I feel like there's probably like a like a lot of legitimacy to the frustration here. I I think there I think there is, you know. Oh, oh, okay. One thing one thing that I see that uh that I think you actually could legit complain about is um there's a there's a 4chan green text that I see gets thrown around every once in a while where it's like uh like I'm a parent, kid goes off to college, he's gay, but it's no big deal. It's 2022. Uh, he comes back home, his boyfriend is way more of a man than he is, and then I, like, later I start crying because I know that my son is getting, like, fucked in the ass or whatever. Because uh, you just know, like, th that one, you know? And obviously it's fake, it's a green text, blah, blah, blah. Um, however, I will say, a lot of people seem to resonate with that, and that actually is, like, really fucking weird. The idea of, if you have a gay son, it's like, okay, as long as he's a top. I get that it's a funny joke and i get i've made that joke but i think for a lot of people it's not a joke that like they do actually feel that way and that's pretty fucking weird right yeah like i make jokes about the greek model of sexuality and i i mean there is something to explore there in terms of like it in terms of like association with heterosexuality topping a guy and bottoming a guy definitely have different blah, blah, blah. but in terms of like the repulsion factor i'm making jokes about whether or not something is gay but i don't care if something's gay but if the joke is like okay it's more degenerate or it's more like weird for the sun to be a bottom than a top that's actually really strange you know what i mean yeah okay so i i think i think it's legit to be a bit bothered by that yeah Ultimately, it's just hatred of femininity. Yeah, at that point, the the at that point, the idea is like it's disgusting to the father because he thinks it's worse that his son is taking on the woman's role when having sex. Which, again, as a parent, I, I really don't know how much time you should be dedicating to this, but like that's a pretty weird thing to think, even in the context of dedicating your time to thinking about stuff like that. It's pretty, uh, yeah. It's pretty. Probably should curtail your, your thought there. What if the joke is funny? Well, obviously, if it's funny, you know. Bottoms and tops of the internet, bottoms and tops of real life. True! Oh, these two? Really? That's what we're going for here? Talking about age gap discourse. Um, yeah, it, also remember that the bottom top war is online only, because in real life, you'll never guess, I know, shame be shame, 
You'll never guess who I spend my time hooking up with when I hook up with people. What do you think it is? Other tops? <laughs> like, it's, uh, you know, it's like, it's like how guys will go online and spend all day complaining about women, but then they'll go back home to their mom and be like, more chicken nuggies. It's like that. Other than ISIS and the Nazis, who else can we all agree on are completely unambiguously evil? Boshites, fuck off, tanky. What? Oh, wait, they literally have Neolib in their, um, in their handle here. I guess that, I guess that sells it. I love getting called a tanky, man. It's so fucking funny. I'm sure no one will believe me, but back in February 2019, I was out drinking with my uni friends, and someone that ever, uh, someone that knew Vosh actually invited him. Back then, I didn't know about him or his channel, and he was a actually introduced to me as Ian. Either way, evening goes fine. We laugh, get drunk, actually chit chat with him about Souls like games. We didn't talk much after that, but it was a fun time. Well, fast forward to the trip back. We were all sorts of fucked up walking down the street. Out of nowhere, Vosh quickly runs in front of everyone and goes, You guys want to see something really cool? Before literally anyone can answer, really process what was going on, I kid you not, the motherfucker runs up to a parking meter, rips it off the ground, and eats it. Literally, like he crunched the whole thing down his throat like it was nothing. The sound the whole process made was awful. We were all shocked. I pissed myself, unrelated. Some people just kind of awkwardly laugh, but the vibe is obviously off now. He resumes walking like nothing happened. I've been haunted by this experience for way too long. I'm finally able to speak on it. I'm sure I'll get some hate for this, but I don't care. People need to know the truth. Why was this not safe for work? Why would you do that? Man, have you ever put a penny in your mouth? Doesn't the copper taste kind of, like, satisfying? Obviously, if you got used to that, then you have to mainline the parking meters. I almost choked on a penny when I was a kid. <laughs> Imagine dying to one cent. How, how much did it take to kill this kid? Ah, one cent. Ah. <laughs> Fucking. Yeah, how many people uh, touch those? Yeah, uh, obviously. It's uh, how you get COVID immune, you know? You just lick dollar bills that you get um, when you go to the dispensary. Your entire body gets immune. Communism only works on paper. Step one, get a lot of paper. Step two, cover floor with paper. Step three, communism works. If you want to be the most tiring, insufferable guy in the world, what you need to do is have, like, one room in your house, maybe like a closet in the hallway, uh, paper that with uh, paper on the floor. And then when people are over, you can be like, ah, oh, let's go in here. Ha, <laughs> this is where communism works, because we're on paper. Uh, what? Well, because it says, so they say only on, communism only works on paper, so now we're in <laughs> paper. And then like they bean you to death with a, with a broom or something. Wait, don't leave. Can't get beat up by everyone at the party. Exactly. Hey, Lois. Yeah. Ooh. Autism to autism conversation. It's true. It's so true. I love him. He's so dumb. Dumbass little baby. Neurodivergent kitty. It's true. We, um, every day I like wake up to hear him screaming because he wants to be let out of his cage because he's too young to not be in a cage when he sleeps and he's in a different room. So we like wake up to hear him screaming. He's going Meow! like so loud. We have, um, we have him like caged in when he runs around with Artemy and Pigeon so that he doesn't run to other parts of the house. And we set up like a barricade on top of a staircase to keep him from going down. And the barricade was made up of some cardboard boxes, and some of them were like empty boxes. And I hear, I hear like a thump, 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 thump. Meow! And I'm like, what the fuck just happened? So I go out to the hallway to see that Daniil has rammed the empty box with his head, knocked it all the way down the stairs, and he's now just at the top of the stairs, like screaming with triumph at the box that he defeated. Because he's too scared to run down the stairs, because it's like a height difference thing. So I... I um I go back down and I pick up the box and I reset it and I put it back where it was. And the moment I not even the moment I leave the hallway, the moment I step away and am not facing the box, dum 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 dum. And he said the exact same. <laughs> I had to put a heavier box down. He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. Such a, such a wise boy. Someone needs to tell Mark what a meme is. 
Joe Bugen's America, making all the fish gay, liberal log bible. Show many liberals does it take to change a log bible. <laughs> Learn English before you try to use it. Guys, do not try to de-boomer my dad, okay? Do not try to de-boomer him, all right? It's if it, it, trying to familiarize him with the entirety of modern internet culture to the point that this is comprehensible would, would take his life. He, he needs to stay how he is. He must remain pure. He'll break him? No, no, no. I, the, uh, the, the, the funny thing is, like, I've been talking politics with my dad for my entire life, you know. He's, he's on the ball with it. Um, but yeah, obviously Twitter's a whole other game when it comes to fucking meta-ironic anti-conservative leftist jokes. First day of posting an OK Buddy, I get kicked out of the Vosh, uh, for, out of the subreddit for saying Vosh is a good media take. A Voshite student with they them front of us started crying. God, he's so fucking funny, dude. Jackson Hinkle would be a god tier shit poster if he wasn't also a neo Nazi. If he um if he was like an actual leftist who believed in leftism, uh, he would be so good at the like absurd, over the top, self debasing. Yeah, and he is fairly self serious. Yeah. Why does it look like an intro to, to a porn? Okay, he's at USC, right? USC is a pretty well-funded school. Why the fuck does it look like his fucking homeroom class or whatever the fuck this 20-year-old is going to? Why does it look like it's in Hitler's bunker? Why is this room like three desks wide? I'm really asking here. Why? This is really weird. Why are the desks set up like this? Because it's USC? I don't know anything about USC apart from the fact that it's a large, extremely well-funded private school. Tutorial class, maybe? You think they put them in the retard room? They spend all their money on football? Well, that's like, that's like every college. Wasn't even enrolled, just sat in on a class and head on the TA. Guys, do you want to know a secret? You know, for most universities, you don't have to, like, go to the university to go to the university, right? If you just want to, like, go to a class... <laughs> As long as they're, uh, as long as it's like a, a not every seat is packed kind of situation, like it's a lecture hall classroom where there will basically always be free seating, uh, you can just show up. <laughs> this, you can just go in there. Yeah, free university. I mean, you won't get a degree, but you can, you can just do homework. You, you could just do that just to fuck with a professor's day. You could just like be sitting there and you could like, just, you could answer questions. It doesn't matter. The professor is not going to check their syllabus every time their class of a hundred people, like like one person, responds. They, they get a, a handout assignment, fill it out, return it, and then like get graded on assignments. And then the teacher will talk to you, and they'll be like, "Hey, I graded this assignment, and then I was going to mark it down in my logbook, and you're not enrolled in this class. Is there something wrong?" And you're like, "No, I'm just not enrolled." I. I'm, I'm, I'm just a guy. <laughs> and you can just stare at them. It's great. I just saw the door open. You had, so, sorry, there was a water fountain in the hall I went in for and I got distracted. <laughs> Act like an NPC. Act like they're being the weird one. They're like, what, you're not even a role? And you're like, yeah, I, I came in. Is there something wrong? They're like, um... Uh, you can't, you can't do the class if you're, you're like, wait, no, I, the door was open. Nobody checked. Nobody said I couldn't be here. What's the issue? Is there a problem? Couldn't you be like grading your students' papers? They can't find you for that? No, it's not a, it's not a law. You just walk in. Universities are open to the public usually and uh, classrooms, you can just walk in. Don't get in trouble, then say it was my idea. Me when I get suspended from posting and abolish the monarchy because I said that Prince Harry did not sensibly slaughter Afghan civilians, item and head out. That discourse was so fucking weird. Th this is like a, a, a particular kind of brain damage for lefties where they pretend that every person who ever served in the armed forces is a war criminal. Uh, there were some lefties who were explicitly saying that. I, I have no, like they have no clue. They just, they don't think, they don't understand that war criminal means something. There's like a meaning to that. It's really, really dumb. It's weird because a lot of veterans become leftists. Yeah, 
Who would have thought, it, like, experiencing warfare and the army for four years might, like, make a lot of people kind of systemically critical, you know? Uh, I mean, one of, one of the big reasons why there was so much less fanfare for returning Vietnam War veterans was because it was very well known to the political, like, powers that be at the time when they came back that unlike the World War II war veterans, they would not be, like, you know, uh, advertisement banners for the glory of the U.S. military. Like, don't get me wrong, World War II vets came back with a lot of PTSD, but ultimately they came back thinking they had done the right thing. Because a lot of Vietnam War vets came back fucking hating the U.S. government, meaning that, like, there they, they was not as anywhere near as much of an interest in, like, promoting their, <laughs> their, their veterancy. Yeah, and a lot of people hated the vets, too. A lot of lefties hated the vets because they were doing the whole, oh, haha, you must have chosen to be drafted thing. And a lot of cons hated the vets because they thought their spinelessness and weak will was the reason we had to leave Vietnam. Just saw that he was trending, reported as spam, then saw this on the TL. Sorry you have to deal with him. He's my mutual and I liked his reply, what Lamau. People assuming all trans girls on Twitter hate him. Laughing, crying. Dude is an honorary trans girl, IMO. I'd rather not let the child porn defender, Vosh, be honorarily trans. If maybe we could put it to a vote or something? You don't want to put it to a vote. There are a lot of trans girls in my community. That would actually... that. Uh, you know, the de the demographics on this, it'd be, it'd be, you know, and not that I want to be, mind you, you know, I personally, I think the reason it's, it's a big funny meme is because, uh, uh, literally every other like bread tuber has fallen, I guess, except for what H H bomb. But H bomb really doesn't do performative masculinity the way I do. People unironically believe it. Well, they can believe it if they want. I mean, it's not hurting me if they believe it. It's not like I'm bothered. <laughs> You'll never drink cum. What the fuck is wrong with this cum? Holy shit. Oh my god. Not good. Thoughts on this. If God is willing to prevent evil, is eat not... Oh, this is, this is like a thousands year old enlightened atheist thing is god willing to prevent evil but not able then he's not omnipotent is he able but not willing then he is malevolent if he is both able and willing then why is there evil is he neither able nor willing then why call him god accurate my dad my man my dad hell yeah yeah i like the morrowind font um coming in i s listen where do you think i get it all from i say actually reddit atheism is based and red pilled okay the, the Catholic Church has tried to convince you that it's cringe to ground your beliefs in empiricism, okay? They're trying to, they're saying, oh, it's so cringe the way you don't, the, the, way, the way you need evidence for stuff. I say, you know, as annoying as they may be sometimes, all right, our world is on the precipice of destruction in large part because of Christianity, because it is the Republican Party, Christian nationalism, climate change denialism, these things are intertwined. What have Reddit atheists done to you, huh? What have they done? Be mildly annoying. Come up with one of the best quotes in modern internet history. Uh, in, in, fo enlightened, phony book, enlightened by my own intelligence, whatever the fuck that quote was. Be a little cringe. Well, I think you should embrace that cringe. Does God have a penis? I need to know. He must, because he goes by he, him, and the Christians are all about biological pronouns. I'm euphoric. That's the thing. Yeah, in this moment, I'm euphoric. Thank you. God, what a banger. I feel like I, I feel like I should go one button further down. There we go. That's better. It's open to my belly button now. Idea for new debate strategy. Jump off a cliff. No way. Western countries heavily antagonize cliff jumping. True. Absolutely. It'll work. It'll work. Sometimes I miss Twitter, then sometimes this happens. The worst part about being a left-leaning woman is how many left-leaning men look like this. And then we have... We're in hell? Right? We're in hell TV? Okay, gotcha. Big Joel... Uh... Uh... First of all, wow, thought slime isn't a man. Wow. And then H-bomb. At least they didn't include Vosh. Yeah, he's mysteriously absent. 
And why post him when he's completely outside your dating possibilities unless you weigh a thousand pounds, can gallop at 27 miles per hour and have a mane? Why do we always get this wrong? Vosh wants to be the horse, not be with the horse. I thought it was he wanted to watch the horse. I want to watch myself as the horse. No. Um, ah, God. Just the funniest bit. Really, though, not including me is kind of suspicious, isn't it? Like, if, if people are thinking of left-leaning guys to attack the appearance of, I feel like I'm usually the first one to come up, and then they pull out a photo of me from three years ago. Yeah, I think I think she wants to to hit it. Maybe they're into bears. Yeah, I guess these people are all quite a bit like twinkier than I am. That's because you're actually a trans girl. Oh, true. Also, there's not anything wrong with how any of these people look. Um, kind of a cunty post, but she got like really ratioed for it. So. Ooh, full of brain damage. Look at this little guy. I fought Deism account and I saw it the first eight times. Look at this little guy. I love his angry anime eyebrows. He literally has the, um, the, um, greater than sign colon three cat face. Yeah, yeah. That one. L literally how he looks, like by default. I like his forehead wrinkles. Yeah, the forehead wrinkles are because there's no hair here. He has a tuft of hair that just begins right here at his forehead. This is hairless. It's a Devon Rex cat. His brain is exposed. Yeah. Also, his pink belly, that's not fur. This is just his skin, see? All of this right here is just skin. Uh, then his fur starts here. Because, like, a cat's skin is the same color as its fur. Like, if you took a cat that's calico and has a bunch of different colors and then shaved it, the fur underneath would be this, or the hair, the, the skin underneath would be the same uh, color as the fur. I'll show you. As you can see, fleshy tum tum. See, you can see from the side. See where the hair on his face begins? Do you see that? It's a little bit lighter where his skin is. Not to be weird, but why is his junk so big? He hasn't been fixed yet. Daniel. What'd you just hiccup for? Are you all full? You full of kibble? Sit down there. Go attack pigeon or something. Oh. Baby behavior. German foreign minister declares war on Russia. The foreign minister of Germany did not and has no constitutional power to declare war. See articles 65A and 115 of the Basic Law. It is a foreign minister's use of the phrase at war was a declaration of war. Russia would have declared war in the West a long time ago. True! God, Michael Tracy's so fucking dumb. I can't believe that conversation we had, man. Whole I, conversation is is kind of uh, uh, charitable there. What a goddamn, what a, what a Michael. I have never said that name so many times in my life. He's utterly brain damaged. Um, I I I just honest to God, I just think he's a Nazi and he's like, uh, too like he's not bright enough to understand that he's not doing a good job of obfuscating it. Pretty incredible stuff. This is this is just all going to be my dad's tweets from now on. I'm gonna have to start ignoring these in the future because otherwise they're gonna be like forty percent of the um of the goddamn subreddit from Lauren Bobert. Yeah, Biden accuses Republicans of trying to cut Medicare and Social Security. Give me a break. Go back to your poll. Rare Mark L. Whoa! I think what my dad is trying to say here is that he values and respects sex work, and he thinks that. Lauren Boebert's talents would be better suited for that line of work than governance. It's actually a statement on sex positivity. It has nothing to do with misogyny, all right? Yeah. What the fuck is this? Trying to see something Lennon pull. Lennon had good theory and he was a good leader. Lennon had good theory only. Lennon was a good leader only. Lennon had bad theory and he was a bad leader. This is actually very helpful. I, 
I I do wish I could talk to somebody who was like Lenin was a good leader. That is like a tr just Peter Griffin in a straight jacket. Actually, the only way to describe that belief. Jesus Christ. Oh, this is from OK Buddy Vouch. Okay. <laughs> to, to be fair, by the way, I, from an anarchist perspective, you can tear the fuck into state and revolution. So this should be Hitler slash anarchists. As if there's any difference. <laughs> Your pedophilia makes us Marxists look bad. Your Marxism makes us pedophiles look bad. Ah, and they wonder why we become centrists. Sneaky debate tactics from Mr. Vush. Ah, I saw this. Online political debate worksheet. Draw your own soy jack in the box below and write an engaging political debate you might see on Twitter. Remember, soy jack has the wrong opinions and is often crying. Chad has the right opinions. Vocab words to remember. Cringe based. In just a few short sentences, defend the Chad argument. I know this is definitely fake, but I desperately want it to be real. So desperately. Oh my god. <laughs> Lenin, Rosa, Stalin, Biden, Jusha, Mao, Sankara, Vosh. Damn, I can't believe I'm gonna die at like 200 years old. It's fucked up. 160? I forget the lore. Why is Vosh the photo for a tanky kitten play Discord server? Fucking what? Union of Soviet Socialist Kittens? Oh, I know why. It makes sense. Uh, because kitten play is primarily engaged in by uh, transbians, and 80% of all transbians watch me. So there's there's kind of like a, a share, there's like an ideological synchronicity there, you understand? Breaking news, defender of child porn now wants nuclear war with China. This ended up being so fucking funny, because this person then tweeted about me like five times after, and in one of them, they were like, I wonder how it feels for Vosh to be a 45-year-old retarded pedophile uh, who, who gets ratioed by an 18-year-old girl or something. And then I replied with something, saying something like, I want to fuck horses. And I got like three times, four times the likes as her. And she was like fucking rage posting after that. Uh, hold on. Twitter, Vosh. Oh yeah, there it is. God, that was funny. Wonder how it feels to be a grown man with 225k followers spending time defending pedophilia and bestiality on his Twitch streams just to get ratioed by 18-year-old communists on Twitter. The pedo thing is a psyop. My channel actually produces 20 hours of uninterrupted pro-bestiality propaganda a week. We don't even talk politics anymore. And then she, like, actually tries to engage and with, like, the Discord screenshot runabout. My dad was in these tweet replies. <laughs> my dad liked my tweet. And then the, the replies here are just people making fun of her. It was, it was very, very funny. Um, incredibly funny. Uh, yeah. Also, she is a Chinese state agent. Unironically, she has uh, been invited by the uh, uh, CCP-controlled uh, uh, like news and media outlets to give presentations on how actually the West is evil or whatever. I had Vosh. He's not even a real anarchist. He's the worst TBH. He knows just about nothing. All Vosh knows is be pansexual, charge iPhone, hot, eat hot chips, suck horse cock, and lie at a horse. I'm gonna say it's probably a, a joke. Gonna turn on my satire detector. Do a little bit of work there. <laughs> Vosh intensity. Who's making these? Is there like some? Is there some like resurgent effort to uh, 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 t to get us back together? Is, 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 is my community planning this behind my back? It's not going to work. As a Half-Life meme? No, it's not! This is a fucking Evangelion meme, but for some reason, then it got the, 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 the Enviro suit thing drawn on to it, but now it's about... D d <laughs> okay. True. No liberals allowed. In before least wordy leftist meme, but still. I've had three divorces, cheated during all of them, slept with a porn star while married to my current wife. I also have a ton of sexual harassment suits against me. Based, all the haters are coping. You are the god emperor of traditional family values. 
I, a pastor and man of God, cheated on my wife, and the FBI sent an illegal recording of it to try and make me kill myself. Also, my work in the civil rights movement is largely why African Americans have equal rights. Mm, I don't know. You seem pretty problematic. Yeah, I, I love the extremely subtle and very well-planned effort by conservatives to be more upfront about the fact that they don't like Martin Luther King Jr. And the way they're doing that is by suddenly having an issue with men in power doing, like, sexual harassment or, um, or cheating or whatever. Um, like, very, very wise. Like, yeah, now that it's MLK Day, let's spend some time talking about the great Satan that is MLK Jr. And they're talking about stuff, like... They could just sound like a liberal talking about Trump. I mean, it's it, like identical. Some of the concerns and criticisms. Um, they even sound as histrionic as the uh, as, as the worst of them. Yeah, MLK was a mixed bag. Fucking Charlie Kirk, who gives a fuck about cheating anyway. Yeah, I really don't assess my appreciation of historical civil rights leaders by whether or not they cheated on their wives. I'm sure that's important to like them and their wife, but that's really not what I like. When I, look, reflecting back on historical leaders thinking, ah, yes, I really appreciate the contributions they made to fidelity to their wife. Wake up, sweaty, new tier list. Ah, oh, true, true. Trotsky, uh, Trotsky would definitely be a Voshite. All the Stalin criticism, you know? I think Bernie would be a subscriber. I think we should move him up. And Rosa. I think Rosa would be a certified Voshite. I want those two moved up immediately. Later in life, he would support me. But during the, uh, 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 during the um, Nation of Islam bit, no, he would not. Zizek would be the strongest chat shit poster. Yeah, that's true. Zizek, Zizek wouldn't watch any of my content and wouldn't care about me at all but he would incidentally keep agreeing with my takes on Twitter. Like, he would have, like, 18 interactions with me per month, but he would never remember me. Which is fine by me. Red Tube bans you for using the V-word. Oh yeah, a ton of uh, subs auto-ban. Bosh, control your father. This fucking sub! Lauren Boebert, proud to coordinate with these living legends for a less wasteful, more accountable government. Institution is not... Okay, listen, okay? My dad... It's just pointing out that it's true that prostitution and governing aren't the same thing. He's not saying either of them is better or worse than the other one. He's only saying that they're not the same thing. They're distinct concepts, which is true. They are distinct concepts. They don't mean the same thing. What if it's ironic? Misog There's no misogyny. There's no misogyny. I will not buy Chris Legacy. JK won't be rolling to my money. Let him cook. Which trans girl gave Keemstar life-changing dome? Wait, this isn't even me responding. This is just me happening to be the next tweet. I'm just, I just happen to be here. I'm just walking by. I'm just going on my merry way on Twitter.com, and I'm getting roped into this. China balloon obliterated. Thanks, Joe Biden. I feel like I would look pretty goddamn good here if the camera didn't tilt at a downward angle. The fact that it does always diminishes my, my, uh, my daddy bulges. The daddy bulge of my arms. That's the term, I think. Hello. Cheap horse, wide. <laughs> you want to fuck horses and became the hero. I do it and I become the enemy. That doesn't seem fair. True! John Oliver literally makes, like, I, I'm actually surprised he makes these because they actually are pretty racy. Like, he literally makes jokes about wanting to fuck horses. I, I, you know, and I get shit for it, honestly. Honestly. Also, is John Oliver, like, off-season right now? I feel like it's been a while since I've heard anything about him. I assume it's just off, like, production right now. He's on break? Yeah, okay, I, I thought so. It's just been a little while. He come back next- oh, next week! Oh, okay, nice. I mean, you know, you can learn a lot from those videos. Bosh Bandicoot. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's so well made. <laughs> Holy shit, I really like this. 
and you can see early Danil Artemy engagement in the background. See where he he's chasing the dot and he runs right up to Artemy. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Man, I just say any shit. <laughs> Get the tea with Vosh. Why is Twitter so obsessed with the guy that died in 1945? True. Wait, isn't this the same person that we saw like way at the beginning? But this is a meme post. So are they actually a fan of mine? Was their original post ironic? There, this. So this was ironic. Yeah. They're just a. They're just a. A. a a, a edgy shit poster. They might be comparing you to Hitler unironically. Do, do you really think so? Do you really think they would make a joke this corny unironically? Bot, she noticed me. Oh, spotted! Astro Silver SYS, you've been spotted. Put, put the phone down immediately. Stop tweeting. Put the phone down. We got it. Confirmed. Voshite confirmed. Woo woo woo. Woo woo. woo. Caught. Ah, there it is. Autism. All right, we got it. Voshai confirmed. Could have confirmed it from that with no priors and a minor. Plenty of underage people watch me because uh, they have terrible taste. They'll grow out of it. Voshai with a lolly PFP. Uh, no, actually, now that we know this person is a fan, uh, I would say that uh, they have a great taste in VTubers. Uh, sharks are cool. Um, I, it's like a shark, but it's a girl. That's cool. Shark girl. We ride, we die for our Voshite brethren. Can't believe the creators of Hogwarts Legacy and JK Rowling would do something so controversial. It's entirely unacceptable in 2023 to have these views, and they deserve all the hate they get. I'll be refunding this game and boycotting it to spread awareness. It's inhumane and downright demeaning. They make you play as a British person. True! Okay, really quick. Can we agree, super quick, that... In terms of, like, anthropomorphizing girls in, with, like, animal attributes, shark girl is, like, way up there. Like, furry shark girls or whatever. And a big part of that is because they have sharp teeth. And sharp teeth are, like, an S-tier, like, waifu attribute, right? We have to agree on that. All right, I googled shark girl and this is what I got. So I'm just going to assume this is the VTuber. Why are there people in chat who seem like confused by the idea of the sharp teeth being hot? What the fuck are you talking about? That feel when the trans women have huge dick and a killer rack. This is just... This has an AI generated tag? What the fuck is this? All right, gang, time to follow the Vosh method and flip that ironic hatred and bigotry into absurd over the top positivity. Fun fact, bottoms are a hundred times more likely to find a good spot to park than tops. Why? Wow, three spots from the front again. Wait, why? That doesn't make any sense. Wh why? Why is that the case? They just can? All right. I'll take it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Dad. So should we now look forward to endless work then at the White House? Aren't you all about the value of hard work? I have literally fucked your mom. This is not real. I'm so sorry to say this is not real. This is fake. This is fake news. It's not real. He probably has fucked my mom at least twice uh, from me and my brother. Uh, but this is indeed fake news. That would be a little off-putting. Well, if I had kids and they were adults, I would probably not refrain from making jokes like that either. So, um, keep it huffing. No, it's not real. I saw the response he did this tweet. Unless he did two responses and I only saw one. That's not very likely. The only correct opinion on the debate. This debate is boing. I'm not listening. I just Anna to take her shoes off. <laughs> uh... I shouldn't laugh because Anna was like fucking sexually harassed by um, Jimmy Dore, but it's also a very funny comment. Dude, the, um, 
Anna, Anna Kasparian must get so much shit, man, because she's like a very serious political figure. And she also, like, let's be real, looks like a model. Um, we, we, so I feel like, like, sh she, I imagine there have been so many times where people have not taken her seriously because of that. Four rules of firearm safety. You can guess if a firearm is loaded by how heavy it feels. Shooting people can be illegal, but you can often get your way just by pointing. Don't let your finger leave the trigger. You always need to be ready for action. If you can't see your target, you can always shoot at noises. True. The, uh, the Voshite Gun Club, uh, which lasted for exactly 3 minutes and 27 seconds, uh, before everyone was dead. The first rule of gun safety is to have fun. Oh, this is the, this is the meme we were talking about. Be dad, have gay son, okay, still love him, it's 2022, meet his BF from university, way more of a man than son, just know, fuck wife, break down the crying midsex. The thought of my son getting his insides rearranged, just like his mother is too much to bear, how do I live knowing he's the bottom? So, as a joke... I think it's funny because in my head, I know it's absurd, but a lot of people actually do feel this way where they're okay with homosexuality in like an abstract, as long as he's still masculine kind of way, but not if he's like being the woman or whatever, uh, you know, which, yeah, like, yeah. Um, this is barely different from incels saying that fathering a girl is the ultimate cuck. No, it's literally the same thing. There, there are like incels who will say like, wow, you're really going to raise a daughter for like multiple years of your life and then she's going to go out and get fucked by some other guy. Remarkable thought process from these incels, by the way. That's actually a thing I've seen them say. Um, and, and, and then it's like, yeah, literally, like, it's like, there's like so many directions from which this can be attacked. Um, but yeah, but then they, they, you know, they, they, this is essentially the same thing. Were those incels expecting to fuck their daughters? Well, I just don't think they want to be involved with women in any capacity outside of like having sex with them. There was one going around the other day where he was like, it's like having a wife, but you can't fuck her when talking about having a daughter. Ah, yes. Well, women will literally ruin established IP slash characters instead of going to therapy. Fred's a rich right guy with a tiny dong. Wait, what is this? So I'm an expert at controlling. Wait, why are we? Wait, 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 wait. Why are we? Why are we roping together She-Hulk and Velma? From from what I've heard, Velma is like really bad. Um, whereas She-Hulk was just like another inoffensive Marvel show. I, wasn't this part of her like girl boss feminism rant where it was like. I deal with more anger than you because people are misogynist to me. Um, I mean, I, I, I haven't seen either of them. Some of the stuff from She-Hulk looked pretty cringe, but it's also Marvel, so like, yeah, obviously. This was supposed to be really bad. Vermin has watched Velma, and apparently it is really bad. And Oh, by the way, I'm really fucking mad right now, okay? Because Velma got approved for a season two when Inside Job got canceled, Vermin and I just finally finished watching Inside Job. It was good. Also, they had a good hook for the second fucking season. They had a good hook for the second season of, of, of fucking Inside Job. I hope it gets picked up. Also, I have a crush on Reagan Ridley. I'm not going to stop shouting. You know, you know about manifest theory? The idea that if you keep manifesting your desires, they'll happen. Her in-show character official art has her not only with bags under her eyes, but also, like, actual sunken-in eyes. It's such an attractive trait. All women should have permanently sunken eyes. It makes them look smart. Raccoon eyes? Yeah, it's good. Need me, uh, uh, an autistic, permanently tired GF. How does this make you feel? Velma premieres HBO Max's most-watched animated original show. Um, it's really not a surprise. There was so much buzz about it. It was already like an established property, and then everyone started screaming about how it was the worst show ever, which means that a lot of people are going to watch it because of that. Yeah, sorry to say, guys, uh, but in, in streaming media, it, if you hate watch or, like, love watch a show, you're both paying nothing to watch it, which means that there's a very low barrier to entry for people watching something just as spectacle. People are not as likely to go watch a movie, uh, that they know is bad. Like, 
pay 15 bucks for the ticket and the snacks and go to a theater and sit down for three hours. But if people are like, you know, how bad does this get really? And they watch the whole thing. It's going to get good numbers. This is a pin post on r slash Abigail Shapiro. Yeah, we saw this. Wild. Vosh, Scooby actually does appear in Velma. He's literally just a corpse in the ground. That's not a joke. Oh, okay. Well. Neat. Excuse me. <laughs> True! Enough Vosh spam. Okay, buddy, Vosh. Vosh V. Vosh's Praxis Emporium. Actually, whenever I look in my Discord, it seems like it's kind of nice in there. Um, I haven't heard any complaints or gotten any emails complaining about the Discord in quite a long time. So, oh, look at that, guys. People in chat are like, yeah, we like, hey. Well, hey, make sure to give your congrats to, uh, Posadas John. And, um, oh god, I should have made sure that I remembered both of the names before I said it. Fuck, 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 Australia. I was, I wanted to say Australia <laughs> for the... For the work they've done uh, in, in moderating the Discord. Who's Hassan Piker? Gen, uh, Gen, Gen, does Gen Q mean general question? Is that what that means? Genuine question. Why would you need to add that? Another left-leaning dude bro streamer, think Vosh, but a little less explicitly fash. These people are both 14 years old. Is this from Anna Fantasia? She's probably like 15. We got to move on, chat. Ooh. Which symbol to use when talking about autism? Yes. Autism creature. Look at this little guy. See, all of this is skin. Uh, it's, it's just like, there's not even any like little fuzz. It's just skin. But it's pink, so it's super cute, you know? And he's got little fluff ruffles all out in his arm. Yeah. He's literally doing, yeah, the uh, greater than colon three. It's perfect. Look. Full of soup. Uh, Soviet Union was right wing. Soviet was far left, not right fascist, and socialism is right wing. <laughs> of course. So true. Why is this one tagged ameliorative and not AI-generated? AI Let's chat about this, Jack. An orgy? What a coincidence. It just so happens that I personally, and only I individually, as a unique individual with my own thought processes and thought structures, am at this very moment also currently thinking and thinking very hard about, and I believe we can clearly and very obviously tell that I am thinking of, and in my opinion, the absolute best and most important topic in the world this second that should be at the front and in focus and clearly in all the single ways most relevant, important thing to hard about, and at the very end, <laughs> Okay, now I understand why it's tagged ameliorative. <laughs> yeah, I would say this. Yep. Average Vosh debate performance. True. Uh, Vosh, you have, um, you have, uh, seven minutes for your opening statement. Fuck, seven minutes. That's only enough time for one sentence. True. Wow, I can't believe China accidentally floated a balloon over the U.S. Here's a totally unrelated map. We need more. True. I don't know. So this was the Chinese state propaganda, whatever person. I don't know what the implication is. Are these meant to be balloons? Are these American bases? Because I don't think we have an American base in Hong Kong. That would be very impressive. We snuck that one under their nose. It's a false map anyway. Yeah. Also, let's not forget the top left corner of this map alone covers all of China. The distance between here and here is like 6,000 miles or some shit. We're, the, we're looking at a very zoomed out... This is not close. This, these aren't like, ah, uh, ah, uh, yes, the, the military base right in the periphery of China. Australia. <laughs> it's just like, it's, it's a whole hemisphere! Found a Russian subreddit. Is that Vosh? That is Vosh! You can always tell because they draw the earlobes bigger. I haven't seen this drawing of me before, though. Also, I, 
I can't read Russian. They probably don't know. I love seeing my Wojaks in the wild. Artemy! Ooh, his ears twitched. Translation in the replies. Such helpful people. Khrushchev, Stalin was the enemy of the people. Vosh, Stalin lives, he is freedom itself. Khrushchev, you are right, long live Stalin. Vosh, long live Comrade. Fucking what? Wait, there's not even a joke there? Is it so so it's like, ah, Stalin was enemy of people, and I'm like, but Stalin lives in all of our hearts. And he's like, I Oh, but this isn't Khrushchev. Wait, is this Khrushchev? Oh, wait, he grows a Stalin mustache. So all I had... What? No. Okay. This Vosh Wojak was drawn by Endless Autism. Oh, that actually is their name. Ah, Endless Autism. This, uh, we can, this is... <laughs> I, <laughs> the main thing that I know about this person is that they fucking love um, Golden Kamui because I keep seeing them Post drawings and quote quote tweet drawings of golden Kamoy. Um and I see that shit all the time. Five hundred twenty two k tweets. This person is on my feet a lot. Um, oh yep, golden Kamoy. There we go. Most recent tweet. Fun fact, I'm called Endless Autism in honor of Radical Autism, but also because of the neurodiversity emote on our Norwegian Discord. They're Norwegian? I can't believe I showed off the Twitter bio of a person who wasn't an American. Good drawing. They're Russian? They're Russian! Based. What if we pissed at the Jordan Peterson urinal? Okay, quick question. Has anyone, like, ever while pissing, read something mounted at eye level at the urinal? Because when I piss, I'm looking at my piss stream. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm sure I could look away and I would still land it in the urinal, but I'd much rather just make sure, like one in a hundred, one in a thousand. I'd just rather make sure I'm pissing the right way. I trust my dick to piss right. I do too, but it, you know, it's I, I trust myself to drive with my eyes closed just fine, but you know, it's always good to be safe. Don't you try to wiggle your eyebrows at any adjacent pissers? Um, it has actually been such a long time since I've pissed next to somebody. I, actually, I can't think of how long ago it's been. Because it happens all the time in school, but I'm, I'm not in school. Uh, in terms of, I go out to restaurants, but at restaurants, the bathrooms are usually single stall. There's only one, because, you know, it's a, ba it's a, you know, at the movie theater, uh, I guess, I guess, like the airport. Yeah, yeah, at the airport. Yeah. You always have to piss next to other people at the airport. Black Dinner versus Vosh V user. What the fuck? This is so weird. This was probably drawn by a white person. Also, pocket mortar. That's an M8 flare pistol with a 37 by 94 Hotchkiss shell. Don't fit, bud. Ha ha ha, you wish you were right. Wow. Well, good luck. That's a dangerous picture. <laughs> Pulls trigger, wrist instantly dissolves into a fine powder. Why is this an OKBV? I don't know, probably because we talk about guns. God, that's funny. That's unsettling. Yeah! Is this J.K. Rowling? Yes? Okay, just making sure. Is this... Did it, did it actually... Oh, wait, this is the Newsweek article. This is the Newsweek article that must have happened after I made her really mad with my excellent tweets. Um, so it actually tracks, kind of? Based... This ain't your father's Republican Party. They want to cut taxes for billionaires. They want to impose a 30% national sales tax, and they want to cut Social Security and Medicare. If you read the Bible, it mentions a Messiah coming to save humanity. It's not beyond possibility that Biden may have been that person, and still is. Laugh now, but you won't when he finishes his eight years of presidency. I'd even say Joe is the reincarnation of Jesus himself. Cutting off the parody... 
in the title here. I will say this much. The idea of a conservative, um, the idea of a conservative parodying being a Joe Biden supporter sounds like the most boring fucking way to get your rocks off trolling Twitter imaginable. Like, yeah, imagine all the incredible comedic value you're going to get from being a Biden supporter on Twitter. Wow, that, you, it just writes itself. Yeah, tr trolling by being fucking boring. Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah! What do you think of Vosh's interpretation of your work? From Karl Mark. I am flattered and encouraged. By Vosh's interpretation of my work, it reaffirms the principles I put forward in my analysis of class struggle and how it affects the structure of society. Their goals are laudable. Although I imagine some would disagree with their interpretation of certain aspects of my work. Regardless, we must strive to create a world that is fair to its citizens. That was like French there for a second. You're making him sound like Zizek, stop. That is fair to its citizens, <laughs> regardless of race, gender, or... Wait, that sounds terrible. <clears throat> regardless of... No, no, no regardless of gender or clash. Something which they are working towards. Okay, there we go. We ended strong. Sorry, I'm not good at impressions. My impressions wander uh, a lot. If, if I'm revving up well, I can do Zizek pretty good. Um, I, nobody can do a Marx accent because we don't know what his voice sounded like, but he was German, so... Um, so I have that. <laughs> With what I found while browsing Lego pieces. What? Nice. Do a James Corden impression. I don't even know who that is. True. Oh, man. I can't believe I had to spend so long with the fucking ear bandage on, man. That shit is so goddamn dumb looking. It's crazy how dumb it looks. If I had a keloid, like, anywhere else on my body, like, anywhere else, it would just be just a regular bandage on that part of the body. But you need, like, a fucking diaper for your earlobe. So stupid. Oh, you guys see the most recent, um, H-Bomber guy video? The one of the guy in the video game industry who, like, did, did stuff? I don't want to spoil. God damn, that was such a good video. What a rabbit hole. Yeah, I actually got like blessed by the divine the divine ones during the day that I watched that video because it was actually I think it was the same day that I watched the most recent Defunct Land video on the Disney Channel theme which ended up being like unironically one of the best um like one of the best like documentary videos that I've ever seen on YouTube. It's so fucking good. Uh, it's so, so, so good. It's insanely good. Defunctland is amazing. Defunctland is amazing, but I, I I feel like this was the first thing Defunctland has done that really, like, elevated the channel, in in my mind, to something that parallels, like, documentary work. Um, the Fast Pass video was great, of course, but the Fast Pass video feels more like a really excellent YouTube informational style video, but this feels like a documentary. Why does defunct mauled over whether he's a documentarian or not? Who's getting angry at him? Well, I think, I think it's because he's effectively doing the work of a documentarian, but he's like a YouTuber. And YouTuber is not anywhere near as prestigious a title as documentarian. And I think he might be a bit frustrated with the, what seems to be a gap between the quality of the work that he puts out and the imagine social value of of what he does you know um but i don't think it was him like molding about it i think it was just like reflection on the on the topic valid valid and based army crushing an uprising against his oh baby video
Hey. <laughs> Bonk. Hey. 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 It was such a big bonk. How do you get your Reddit to look like this? I'm on old Reddit. <laughs> My god, I do not care about your pets. Yeah, true. Why would you even say that? Fuck you. We need to let children be whatever they want to be. What if they want to be conservatives? Nope. True. Good, she left. Keep it up. Say whatever you want about AI art, but this may be the greatest image of Joe Biden ever conceived. This is excellent. See, I don't actually mind AI art as long as it's in a context where it's immediately understandable that it's AI art. And this was popularized as AI art, which, um, <laughs> which I'm fine with. It's very funny. Yeah, it's creepy. It's funny. I like it. Every time you talk to your bottom, you should always remind yourself this conversation will be recorded for training and quality purposes. So apparently taking boomer memes and replacing wife with bottom makes them a thousand times funnier. Somebody, somebody on Twitter once pointed out that 90% of bottom jokes are the same as wife jokes made by unlikable dudes in their 50s. And it really made me think, it made me reflect a little bit because a lot of it is true. Like jokes about how women hog all the blankets are one thing and we're all like uh okay right nice boomer uh -huh. and then someone's like uh don't you hate it when your bottom hogs all the blankets and it's like woo, oh, yeah woo. yeah it's like yeah good lamau you talk too much shit about bottoms well a lot of the stuff that i say about bottoms is not just a repurposed my wife meme like them not shutting the fuck up on twitter reject modernity embrace tradition okay guys i'm missing some context here, okay? What the fuck is this? I see so many memes, and at this point, I'm like, I'm like, uh, smiling and laughing. It's an old game, Facade. You've never played Facade? No, but I've known about it, like, for a decade at least. But I, I've never, I don't know anything about it. Play Facade right now. Weird divorce indie game. So it's just like, uh... AI-based interactive story. 2006? This was before the first Bioshock? A game where you cause a divorce? Interesting. You try to help them through their blatantly failing marriage? Well, it must have left quite an impression. Interesting. Hey, damn, he really let himself go. Nah, man, if you look like this, you have like a secure path to pussy with some very specific people. Who am I being mixed with here? Alan Moore? Guaranteed path. You just gotta be goofy. Hagrid? Is it Hagrid or is it Alan Moore? Jack Black? Maybe. It could be any of them. Vosh, when someone implies capitalism is non-coercive. Wow, I'd kill myself. No, no thank you. Every time I see one of those videos where someone's doing a little bit on a... Pl I mean, I assume that they're all in like a troop or something. Uh, but man, to be on that plane... Imagine having a pounding headache and having to listen to that shit emanating from the back. I'd hijack the plane if people were doing that shit. It might work both ways, you know? Like, man, if only those guys had been there during 9-11, they would have made the hijackers shoot themselves. Dating is a leftist. Can you all date or be seriously intimate long terms with someone who lacks the knowledge and beliefs that you have? I personally can't stand robot normie girls that have no awareness of anything in politics and lack the understanding I've built since joining the left. Hold I hold women I want to be in a relationship with to a higher standard. I meet up with and get to know girls with potential for relationships. But once I ask questions to get a depth of their understanding and it's revealed they're just some dumb normie who isn't like a leftist, it's like I see them as a lesser human being. Edit, still waiting for an actual argument or point to be made. 
Ah, this really is a, uh, this really is a Vosh fan. Reddit moment? Oh, God, yes. She doesn't even know angles. Maybe, uh, look for people at local left-leaning events or clubs or groups or in that group online. That has to be a joke. Nah, there are a lot of people who feel this way. And by the way, it's not like I want to be in a relationship with a normie chick who doesn't, like, follow politics at all either, you know? The problem is that this, this post is just reeking with contempt for women. I love a guy who quizzes me on pop. Yeah, imagine being a girl and you're meeting, meeting up with a guy and he does the thing that they do with like, oh, you like X band? Well, name three songs. It's like, oh, huh. wow, you're a leftist? Well, can you, uh, well, yeah, name like, I don't know, like uh, five theorists that you've read? Hmm? Yeah. And, and you're like, okay. Yeah, great. What's a tiff? What the fuck? People are fucking disgusting. If you can't paint like this, you're literally worse than Hitler. It's alright. AI art uh, raises the boat. Makes it possible for all of us. Just got this from a coworker. I think I'm convinced. I fucking hope they didn't actually get this from a coworker. Jesus Christ. The great QAnon chart. Antarctica. This is the section on the chart dedicated to Antarctica. I've seen this one a million times. Getting an Adderall prescription so I can interrupt women faster and talk over them louder. God, true. Holy shit. Absolutely. <laughs> what is this? Oh, this guy has a big club dick. I don't know if I can show that. You know... Folks, we're coming up on three hours now. I think I'm actually going to shift over to everyone's favorite portion of every Vosh stream, which is where I go over donations. Oh god, three hours? The time really does fly. This was meant to be a short stream, by the way. Um, it's just... I mean, I, most of my birthday festivities I'm actually doing tomorrow, not today.